All right, Shalom, this is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I got a quick lesson uh, that I want to go into. I'm going to go into this scripture, Isaiah 65 and 1. Uh, before I do so, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel which is us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, according to the Bible. Now, before I do get into this, uh, this scripture, I want to speak real briefly on how, or what brought me to doing a lesson on this particular scripture. Me and, me and a brother was having a conversation last night, and we were reflecting on back when we were woken up to the fact that we were Hebrew Israelites and believed that we got to get out on the streets, the highways and byways and teach this word, you know? Now, the, the scriptures say in the book of um, Proverbs, I'll just quote it for the sake of time. Proverbs 1, I believe, starting at 20, it says, Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the street in the chief place of concourse. So we were going to, we're going to find, we find this wisdom, okay, out in the streets, okay? And um, what's out in the streets? Jeremiah 3 and 15. The Most High is going to set up, or set up, not going to, he has set up pastors according to his heart, or his mind, which is feeding us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And when where is that happening at? predominantly uh, on the highways and byways all across the world out in the streets okay now we all woke up through the internet okay but what did we see on the internet we seen men out on in the uh in the streets teaching okay and to be more specific we seen the uh, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone out on the streets teaching. You know, now certain brothers uh, may have seen IUIC, woke up to the fact that they were Israelites from IUIC or maybe even ISUPK or any of those other alphabet groups, but didn't get the full understanding until they started getting into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone teaching teaching the word, right? So me and the brother, like I was saying, we was reflecting on stumbling, not really, not stumbling, but really being led, not knowing to the videos of the apostles and elders of, of Great Millstone and how only by the power of the Most High or the or Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, could we have believed that we were the Hebrew Israelites once we heard it, okay? Unless it was by the power of the Most High, being in the midst of Babylon, or being in the midst of Babylon the Great, okay? Babylon meaning confusion, going back to the Hebrew word Babal. See, how to believe in this out of all things that we could believe in, because here in Babylon the Great, you can believe in anything. You can worship whatever you want to worship, right? But to choose, which it seemed like we're choosing, but really we were chose to believe in what we heard, hearing that we're the Israelites and that we're supposed to learn this Bible and then get out there on the streets and teach. You see? You know, and we were we were discussing how we would have never thought uh, uh, in in a lifetime, you know, back then in that particular mindset that we had, that we would have found out that we would have Hebrew or believed that we were the Hebrew Israelites and start teaching his word. And, you know, then and, and by the most high waking us up out of that sleep, that showed and demonstrated that the most high is real and it has great power, man. You know, because we were convinced through the words that the apostles and elders were speaking of, of great millstone. 
or any of them other alphabet groups for that matter. Cause we going all the way back to when we, you know, we reflecting back on when we found out we were uh, Israelites, you know, and we believed in it. And this is the same story for all of us that came into the, to the faith, you know, we didn't know we were going to find Yahweh, Yahweh Shai and get the complete understanding of the Bible, you know, and that's just, that demonstrates beyond words, uh, words unspeakable, the power of the most high. So let's go ahead and get into this, uh, this verse. This is Isaiah 65 and one. It says, I am sought of them that acts not for me. Now the word sought is the past tense way of saying seek. So I pulled the word seek up on the Merriam Webster dictionary online. And this is what it says to resort to go to, to go in search of look for try. I'm sorry, to try to discover, to try to discover. All right. So to go in search of look for, Now let's go back to this Isaiah 65 and 1. Let's and let's focus on the first part of this verse. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. Which means what? Um uh, we were seeking for the most high. Because it says right now, I am sought in order to uh find something or to uh whatever you were searching for to discover it. You got to be searching for it. Got to be looking for it. And the scripture saying, so the, the searching resulted in us finding uh, the most high. And in, in the next part of the verse said, but we wasn't asking for the most high. We weren't saying, I want to go out and find Yahweh. Because the scripture tell us, or Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Because the scriptures tells us, and I'll go ahead and get it. Romans uh, 11 and 7. That all Israel is going to be seeking for the truth. Which for pretty much all of uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, finding out the truth is finding out who the high power is. Like what's his name? What's the name of, of God? And you know, what's our purpose? You know, what what is our purpose on earth? On earth, you know. So let's look at this scripture real quick and we'll go back to Isaiah 65 and, and 1, Romans 11 and 7. It says, What then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for? So this scripture is telling us that the whole nation is gonna be seeking uh uh for the truth. Let's read on. But the election have not had had obtained it. I'm sorry. Let me read that again. But the election had obtained it, and the rest were blind were blinded. So Israel is going to be seeking for the Most High, but only the elect is going to obtain it. And and and. Like I I want to rephrase that, not per se seeking for Yahweh, but seeking for the truth. And for us, the Israelites, the truth is knowing who the Most High is. What's his name? Because just like we read in uh, Exodus, the third chapter, where Moses said, when I go to the children of Israel, uh, um, who shall I say sent me? I'm roughly uh, paraphrasing. Right? Because they're going to inquire, what was Israel going to, or what shall I tell them your name is? Matter of fact, let me get it so I don't mangle. I don't mangle the verse. I believe it's Exodus 3 and uh, 15. Let's see. 
is 14. 13. Exodus 3 and 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel and say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say unto me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? Okay, so I kind of twisted it up earlier, but that's why I went to the verse. And that's in I was in Israel's spirit. Okay? And when we hear a man saying that he coming in and you know representing the most high, uh, what is his name? And it shows essentially that we want to know the name of our our power. Right? So let's go back to uh Romans. Was that Romans eleven and seven? Or really I I can I can go ahead and go back to uh Isaiah 65 and 1. So like I was saying, for us Israelites, you know, finding out the truth, the uh, first part of it is finding out the name of our God. What is it? What's his name? You know, and I want to say this too. When I heard the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, I believe those were the names. Because the scriptures tell us in the book of, what is it? Let's find it real quick. Peter, I believe it's either first or second Peter. Let's see. Let's see if it's in 1 Peter 3 and 1. Okay, it's 2 Peter. So let's see, 2 Peter 3 and 1. Right, 2 Peter 3 and 1. It says... This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. And, you know, that's where that belief or believing in the name come from. The most high stirring up our uh, remembrance, you see. And how did that remembrance get stirred up? Through hearing the word, you know, through hearing the teachings of the Bible, hearing the name. Oh, what does Romans 10 say? Let's get that real quick. Romans 10. Now I'll find a verse. Okay, so Romans chapter 10, verse 13, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But in order to call on the name, you have to know the name. It says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? You see, so if we well, let me finish this verse and how shall they hear without a preacher? So if we break this down, starting from the end of the verse, going back up. It'll 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 give the understanding. First, you need the preacher, except you have a preacher. You cannot hear of the of, of the name. All right. Then when you hear the name. You believe in it, or really the names, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. All right? So first you need the preacher, starting at the end of the verse. I mean, the, yeah, the end of the verse. Then you hear the word through the preachers, and you hear the, the name, you know, you hear the name of, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and then you believe in Yahweh, uh, uh, Yahweh 
in Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's that's what's needed in order for that. Um, what we're about to finish reading in Isaiah 65 and 1 uh happen. You know, that process of us searching and seeking, uh seeking, but we wasn't asking. Let's go back to the scripture. I guess I've just put it in right here. I lost it in looking up these other scriptures. Okay. So that's the process to this right here. Because let's go back and look at it again. It says, I am sought of them that ask not for me. So we were seeking for the most high, but we weren't seeking for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Why? Because we didn't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because, well, we didn't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and didn't know their names because we hadn't run into the preachers or the prophets. Okay? So we didn't, we didn't know until we ran into hearing this word. Which that's that's not what we were searching for. We didn't know what we were searching for. We were just searching for the truth. All of us. You know? We wanted to know what the truth was. But we didn't have it in our mind. Okay, I'm gonna go find Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and get the understand and, and find out the, the complete understanding of the Bible. You know? Now let's read on. It says, I am found of them. That sought me not. Now this is saying. In a nutshell. We wasn't searching for the most high. We wasn't searching for. Because we wasn't searching for Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai. Yeah we were searching. But not specifically. Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai. In the understanding of the Bible. Right. So the scripture say. We wasn't even. We wasn't searching. For Yahweh, but we found him. How did that happen? In the midst of great confusion? By the power of the Most High. Showing to us. Giving us more confirmation that he's real. And he possesses great power. Right now, let's finish up this verse. It says, uh, I said, behold me. Behold me unto a nation. That was not called by my name. So why is the scripture saying this? Because we started calling ourselves. When we heard the men out on the highways and byways teaching this word, we believed that we were the Israelites. We found, we believed in the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? Or the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Uh, what does the scripture tell us in Proverbs? Was that Proverbs? Is it Proverbs 30? 30 and 4. I should know this. I hope this is the right one. Right. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell? Okay. And we could tell. So at least. The, and then, or unless the Most High give you his name or make you believe in his name, you're not going to believe in it, right? And that all comes through hearing, hearing his word. That's what, because, oh, the scriptures tell us in uh, the same chapter uh, that we read earlier, Romans 10, yeah, Romans the 10th chapter, that faith cometh by hearing. See, that belief comes through hearing the word. And when we heard the word, we believed that we were the Israelites. So we started calling ourselves, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Or we started calling ourselves he Israelites. And we believed that we were the, because we believed that we were the Hebrew Israelites or are the Hebrew Israelites. Right? But we was not called by the Most High's name. We were calling ourselves, well, we were being called and we took on these uh, bywords and proverbs. Uh, Negro, African American, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Haitians, Colombians, Cubans, Guatemalans, Panamanians, 
You see West Indians, Haitians, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native American bywords and proverbs. You know, not our name that, uh, that was put on us by our uh, enemy. The number one enemy being Esau, the so-called white man. And he got this great, well, really the most high raised him up. And he's ruling his kingdom with mass confusion, great confusion. And the only way you can come up out of this great confusion to believe in, getting your, uh, believing in this truth, getting your nationality back, okay, is by the power of the most high. You know, so that's pretty much it. You know, uh, I just want to bring out this this account of what sparked, you know, me going into Isaiah 65 and 1. You know, we all went through this process of, you know, searching for the truth, but we didn't we didn't know Yahweh, so we weren't searching for Yahweh while Yahweh shy. You know? And um when we found them, found this, you know, the most high stirred up our mind by way of remembrance. All right. Set up the teachers to go out and teach. It confirmed unto us even more that the most high is real. And he, this, he's powerful. He's in, he's in full control, man. So with that, I want to once again, give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.